Hey guys, Celtic Fire here, back with another part in Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part, we uh, found Bill and got the SS ticket from him, and we also faced Misty and got the Cascade badge. And our Nidoran evolved all the way to a Native King. So in this part, we're going to head through this tunnel and head south to the next town. Um, so I also, in between parts, took the liberty to battle the rest of the trainers from Route 25, I believe it was. Yes, Route 25. And the one guy at Route 24 that I said was part of the Mew glitch. Yada, yada, yada. All right. But as you can see now, we're on a new route, and we can try to avoid the trainers if we want, which, using my mini repels I still have from Mount Moon, I can probably avoid most of these trainers. I will, just like the trainers I just told you about, I will probably fight them off screen. If there's any required ones, I will fight them, but as you can see, we can just avoid them. Except for these two. It looks like we have to fight these two, so who are we leading off with? We are leading off with Nidal King. Let's lead off with Spiro, actually. And let's fight this first girl. Me? Okay. I'll play. And we have... Picnicker Isabel with three Pokemon of just like us. She's gonna send out her level 16 Pidgey first, and we'll send out our Spiro. Let us just Fury attack it and hope for the best. Let's go for five hits. Come on, two hits. That's not what I. Ugh, Spiro, you're just taunting me. It seems like sometimes. Um, let's go for three this time at least. There we go. Good Spiro, and a critical hit for the last one, of course. Oh, Spiro, how you always taunt me. Um, now it's going to send out another Pidgey, so we'll keep our Spiro out there. And we'll Fury attack it again. Let's hope for five this time, or a critical hit. Nope, of course, Spiro only likes to hit him. Oh, Spiro. Spiro, Spiro, Spiro. This one somehow seemed to have less health than the other one. That really doesn't make any sense. To me, at least, I don't know. But, and she's gonna send out another Pidgey. Jeez. Pidgey Frenzy, or something. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, yes, critical. I Let's see, Spiro, are you gonna maybe level up? Level up, maybe? Come on. Oh, so close. Probably needed 200 or more. We'll keep Spiro out there and fight this camper, I believe it is. Oh, well, you want to talk to me? And we got Camper Jeff. Jeff's going to send out his Spiro. He's, so maybe it's like boyfriend-girlfriend here going on or something. She's got the Pidgeys, he's got the Spiros. We'll see if he has a Spiro after this, but... I'm assuming his other Pokemon is a Spiro. Let's hope that ours... There we go. I was going to say, let's hope our Spiro can actually hit his Spiro. There we go. Critical. There you go, Spiro. You're actually listening. And there goes his Spiro. And level up. New move? Nope, not yet. Okay. Oh, it has Eradicate. I thought it was going to... Alright, we're going to send out our Nidoking. King. Probably shy away from using Nidoking King as much, since he will probably be our main Pokemon we use in the gym battle. But let's double kick. Eradicate, since it is super effective. And down goes Eradicate. And if we're lucky, maybe Nidoking King will want to level up too. Yes, he does. Alright. Way to go, Nidoking. King. And this stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. And of course, our Spiro is wanting to evolve again. But, Spiro, you did not learn to move that level. So, you are not evolving yet. I believe he still has four more levels, or she has four more levels until it evolves. But as you can see, we're in the new city, Vermilion City. I'm going to heal real quick, and I'll meet you outside. Alright, in there you can find the Versus Seeker, a very good key item. That way you can rebattle people. Um, I'm going to look around. I think this is who we... I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? In real life, no, but... Huh, I'll take. I'll say yes. Grand. I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this fish, young friend. We got ourselves an old rod, which I will be using to catch our next teammate. Actually, 
<clears throat> if that doesn't give it away who our next teammate is, I don't know what does. Uh, but, obviously, I'm going to be getting its evolved form of the Pokemon I'm getting, not <laughs> the unevolved form, because that would just be uh, quite not smart on my part. But, as you can see, our next Pokemon we are going to catch is a Magikarp, which I'm sure we all know evolved into a Gyarados, which is what I'm looking for. Um, I feel like everything I use on it is going to take it out, so let's use our Pokeball on it right away. Alright, and we got a one, a two, a three. What? At least Magikarp can't hurt us, but I thought that was in the bag, or I guess technically in the ball. <laughs> oh wow, that was an awful, awful pun. Two, three, catch it. There we go. <clears throat> and we got ourselves a new teammate. Magikarp's data was added to the Pokédex. It is virtually worthless in terms of both power and speed. It is the most weak and pathetic Pokémon in the world. <laughs> oh no, though even the Pokédex has a sense of humor about it. Luckily, it evolves into something much better. So, what I'm going to do is put our Magikarp out in the lead for all the battles we're going to do from now on until it evolves, and then we'll be able to finally uh, use it, I guess. But I'm going to go battle those trainers up there on the route up here, and I'll meet you back in Vermilion City. Alright, after battling those trainers up here, or up there, we leveled up our Magikarp to level 9, so good solid 4 levels, I'll take that. Um, we are going to now head to the thing that Bill gave us, and that is the SSN. Welcome to the SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Great. Welcome to the SSN. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. But if you go over here and surf, if you have a Pokemon I can surf, which you can have by now if you traded from another, like, um, traded from somebody else's Pokemon game, and they had a Pokemon that knew surf, you wouldn't have to go on and surf and cut, by the way. Um, but you can avoid the SSN in general, and then to the right there what I, where I was looking, there is a secret truck, which it holds a lava cookie, I believe now, but in the old games, um, it all it held, or people thought there was a Mew that was underneath it. But, we're going to face um, some of the trainers on the ship. This might, uh, I don't know how the time limit works now that I said that I can do uh, videos longer, but... We're going to just take care of this floor and we'll take care of the rest of the SSN later. Maybe I'll do a two-parter and upload two parts today, I'm not sure. But, let's face some trainers. Shh, I'm a global police agent. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket, they're up to no good. So, I guess this isn't a trainer. <clears throat> Sorry, there's just something stuck in my throat. But it looks like we got two trainers in here, so let's lead on. Oh yeah, we're leading off with our Magikarp so we can get some training. And I collect these Pokemon from all around the world. And here we have Lass Anne. She is going to send out her level 18 Pidgey. We're going to send out our level 9 Magikarp, which is really good according to the Pokédex. <laughs> uh, oh, great. But, in reality, we're actually going to use our War Turtle. And let us Water Pulse it, which gives us a same type attack bonus. And, oh, War Turtle. Sorry, I'm going to clear my throat here real quick. <clears throat> okay, so I think I sound a little better now. But Magikarp, no, no level up yet, but now it's going to send out its Nidoran female. Of course, we got to switch back out to our Magikarp until it can finally fend for itself. And now, after this battle, it should definitely level up to level 10. But we're going to send out its daddy, Nidoking. And it's going to use Double Kick, shouldn't be very effective, didn't think so, because Fighting type is not very effective against Poison type, but we are going to Diggy. Diggy? We're going to Dig. And that should be able to take it out, because it should be super effective. And bye-bye, Nidoran female. And Magikarp is going to level up to level 10. And as you can see, it is very speed and defensive heavy. Of course, once it evolves, it finally will get some attack. 
I promise. <clears throat> now we're going to... Can I go around her? No, I can't. I have to face this... Um, youngster, I believe. I love Pokemon, do you? Uh, I don't know. I'm only playing the game. I guess I might like Pokemon. Uh, youngster Tyler would like to battle. Youngster Tyler sends out his Nidoran mail. Well, guess what? I'm going to send out a better form of your Nidoran. I'm going to send out my Nidoking. Maybe that's what I should just rename it to as Nidoking, because I'm not saying Nidoking or Nidoking. I'm saying Nidoking. But we're, it should have the same outcome as it did with the Nidoran female. It should be very, super effective and should be able to take care of our little Nidoran here. And maybe, maybe Magikarp will level up again? No, it won't. Okay. That's okay. Wow, you're great. Yes, I am. Thank you. Let's see. I don't think we are cruising around the world, my children and I. Okay. Well, let's see what this item is. TM31 Brick Break. That is a good fighting type move. However, I'm not sure if I'm going to be teaching that to anybody. Uh, but I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. I don't think... Uh, she might be a trainer. No. I always travel with Wigglytuff. I never leave home without it. A world cruise is so elegant yet cozy. And there's a Wigglytuff right there. Not going to go talk to it. In this room, we have a um, person that apparently thinks I'm a waiter. I'm going to get out of there. Why would you think a 10-year-old is a waiter? Oh, here we go. We got a train. You insolent pup. How dare you barge in. Now we have our first instance of this trainer type, Gentleman Arthur. Usually they seem to have Growlithe, but he's going to send out his Nidoran. Maybe he will have a Growlithe coming up, but as with the, we did with the last Nidoran we faced, actually the last two Nidoran we faced, we are, oh yes, you just double kick us away. We're not going to lose any health, but I will dig and it will take you out. Let's see what you, double kick, huh? So primitive. I remember those days. <laughs> oh, critical hit, super effective, same type attack bonus, just damage, damage, damage. Nidoran female. Huh. I thought, I swore he would have had a Growlithe, but maybe not. Maybe somebody else in, on the boat will have a Growlithe. But, that's going to send out his Nidoran female. Gonna send out our Nidoking. King. And I apologize if you can hear the lawnmower in the background. It's kind of loud, but it sounds like it's my neighbor. But I don't think you can hear it. Um, we're going to dig a hole. We're going to get the same type attack bonus. Super effective. Damage, damage, damage. And alrighty. I took care of the gentleman. Gentleman author. Magikarp grew another level. How about that? And it's still very defensive. And what does Gentleman Arthur have to say? <laughs> you rude child. You have no sense of courtesy. Just give me my money and I'll leave. Thank you. And what do we got in this room? Another trainer? No? You look tired. Would you? Yeah, okay. This is the room that you can go in and rest your Pokemon. It's like the Poke Center of the boat. So that way you don't have to leave the boat all the time and heal your Pokemon. Let's see what we got. We got another Gentleman. And maybe this gentleman will have a Growlithe. I am, I am but a solitary traveler. My sole companions are friends of a Pokemon I caught on my journeys. And he has two Pokemon. There we go. Now we got some Growlithe. And we could use our Nidoking again, but it's gotten some love recently. Let's give our War Turtle some love. Since it really hasn't been used too much lately, other than the and the gym battle, I guess that is something. But in this recording session so far, I haven't used it as much. And there we go. There goes Growlithe. And yep, War Turtle has leveled up to level 22. We've almost leveled it up 20 levels since we got it about 10 parts ago. Not counting the two parters. Back when I had to worry about a time limit a little bit more. Which I'm still confused. I'm not sure if I'm able to do like 20 minute episodes now or what. But I'll try to keep these 
Uh, video short for now because not everybody has time to watch 20 minute videos. So I'll try to keep them between the 10 to 15 minute range. Obviously this one is probably going to venture over 15 minutes because how much I'm doing in this episode. At least I feel like I'm doing a lot in this episode. I might not be. But here we go. Dig. Super effective. Bye bye Gorallith. And, nope, I thought Magikarp was going to level up again. My, my friends. And, let's head on out. I do believe there's a second side that we can enter. There is not. But we took care of all the trainer battles in this um, floor, so I'm going to save, and I'm going to call it a part. So if you enjoyed this part, I would appreciate a like. If this video is not as long as I think it is, I will upload a second part and finish the SSN. But until next time... Have a good day.